Hello, I'm Chris Holden. Yes, that was my better half last week. He gave that wonder me wonderful meditation about our messy house. Bless his heart. <laughs> we love being part of this big family here at Suburban. We feel loved and hope you do too. Of course, God loved us first. We are all precious to him. And he wants us to feel precious and loved. I wonder if God sent Jesus as a baby to show humankind his tenderness and love such power in a vulnerable package. He could have sent a big warrior or a rich king. That would have been a more likely picture of power. But where would the love have found its face in those guys? I wonder if baby Jesus was learning to walk when the wise men arrived. Imagine for a moment these were wise women instead. They would have asked for directions gotten to Bethlehem in time for, to help with the birth, and had a casserole in the oven for dinner. Well, I guess he had plans for his love to shine like that star above Bethlehem, according to his plan, not ours. And Jesus was tasked to learn how to humanly walk and talk and obey his Father. It's always interesting to consider God's timing doesn't it usually involve some frustration and waiting on our part? Waiting from learning to walk with patience. No pushing doesn't help. Waiting as fruit ripens in the sunshine. Remember sunshine? It is his time frame, not ours. This time of communion is our time to wait and remember Jesus' sacrifice. He is with us as tenderly as a perfect father is with his children all through our growing years. We are never alone, always adored. Now a prayer for our time with him. Please, Lord Father in heaven, allow everyone to feel absolutely adored and precious in your presence. Help us lean on you always and learn to run confidently into your arms. Help us love you more as your son and your word teaches us. Amen.